Guys, what is up? Charlie Pang is here. Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today I'm showing you how to take a reference photo and turn it into a drawing in Procreate. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you aren't already, and also comment on the video. Let me know what you guys think or don't. Completely up to you, but uh, we're gonna get into it. Let's do it. Um, here is my reference photo. It's a skull, obviously, with its mouth open. Thought it was really cool. Before I start using the reference, I always prepare it first. So the first thing I do is make sure I create a duplicate copy. So I'm going to the layers and just gonna slide to the left with my Apple Pencil and I'm gonna hit duplicate. And the next thing I wanna do is go to my adjustments. And um, adjustments looks like the magic wand tool in Photoshop, basically. That's how I always remember it. So I go to adjustments and I'm gonna go to hue and saturation. We're gonna turn that saturation all the way down to zero. And this is going to give us a really nice starting point. And then from there, what I do is go to curves under adjustments and I make three points, right? And my goal is to bring out some of the contrast in this so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So something like this would be fine. I just really wanna see where those shadows are and really wanna see where those highlights are. And that is basically the only goal of right there. And then after you're done with that, all you have to do is create a uh, layer above it. So this is going to be our sketch layer and we can actually rename this sketch layer. So let me do that real quick. So we're gonna name this sketch layer or rough sketch, whatever you want, or sketch, it doesn't matter. And um, now that we have this black and white image, we can select it and turn down the opacity. So you can lower the opacity to whatever you want. I usually go about right here. And once you do that, you can go back to your sketch layer and we can change the color to whatever we want. So I like to go really bright and red just so I can see where my lines are, but you can do whatever you want. And then from there, I go to one of my favorite sketch brushes, which is from this guy named Sam Larson. Amazing, amazing brushes from him that I recently purchased. So um, I'm on his pencil sketcher. Although I am using one that I purchased, you can use any of the brushes provided by Procreate. One I recommend is under sketching, go to the 6B pencil, that's a great brush. Um, actually, I'll use that one just for the sake of this video. Why not? So I'm gonna go to the 6B uh, brush and I just wanna start brushing and seeing exactly what size I want this sketch to be in. Now I will be sketching over this image and I'm going to figure out ways to make this my own, right? So what I'm gonna do is just uh, start lightly sketching over it, right? Just kind of figure out where I want things, just like this. And again, yeah, maybe I'm copying, right? Whatever you wanna say, but um, I will make this my own eventually, but this is just the start of it, right? And I don't actually always use reference images. I used to do this a lot when I first started drawing, but I can draw a skull without reference images now, so. This is really just for beginners. Um, but again, I still use this method a lot. I mean, there's a lot of people that use it. So don't be discouraged by this or don't let the haters hate, you know? So again, I'm just kind of roughly sketching and figuring out where things need to be. And this is all really loose stuff, right? Really loosely sketching, that's all we're doing. Um, again, this is just the first part though. You know, and I like to also include those shadows, those highlights. So I know this is a highlight area right here. And then we have a dip in the skull right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you guys are gonna see what I'm saying in a second. We're gonna change a lot of this anyway. This is again, just a base plate. So once we have this base plate, it's gonna be really awesome because we can kind of start adding key details to make it our own. What I'll probably end up doing to make this my own is add some smoke coming out of his mouth or something. Um, but so far this is looking pretty cool. Um, we also have some darker spots right there. So I just wanna, again, make sure I'm including all of those dark spots. Once I'm finished with my initial sketch, I hide it. So now I don't need that image anymore, but I'll keep it. So I'm just basically hiding it, that's it. By unchecking this box right here, it's going to hide it. And then from here, I can take this sketch and I can create one more layer above that and this is going to be our final. So now I will go and choose one of my favorite brushes that I like. The brush I'm using today is Tinderbox Under Inking. It's a great brush and it's free and it's included with Procreate. So you guys can start using that right now. So we're gonna use that one, but I wanna make sure I choose black instead and you're gonna see why in a second. I'm just gonna start sketching over this now with my final brush and um, I'll see you guys in a second.
we're looking pretty good right now. I did some really thin lines on purpose because I am going to fill this with white and then put it on a black background and add some more details. But this is a great starting point right here now. So um, we have all the solid outlines done. I definitely did this fast, so you would definitely want to spend way more time than I did. But now that we have this uh, sketch, I actually want to get rid of this. This is a sore thumb. But now that I have the sketch, what I can do is I can actually fill it with white. But before I do that, I want to go to the background layer and make this black and then we can hide it for now. From here, what I'm gonna do is duplicate my line work, hide the second copy, and um, or I, I should say the first copy, and then drag white onto my design, just like this, see? And we can really choose where we want that white to be, just like that. Pretty easy stuff. Nothing to it, guys. You can make this any color you want. This is where the fun really happens. So what I wanna do is um, unhide my background layer, and once I unhide it, you can see that our sketch is white now, and we can start texturing it. We can literally do whatever we want. It's up to you. Um, what I like to do is go to my black um, brush again under inking, and I'm using Tinderbox, keep in mind. And then what I like to do is just stick in certain parts up, you know, just to add some more definition. So you can kind of do whatever you want, you know? You can get rid of this tooth, make it look a little bit more broken up. So now that's broken up. Looks a little better in my opinion. I don't know why, it just looked a little too perfect for my liking. And then right here, we can fix this by painting white right here because I didn't like the way this looked. So I'm just going to paint white back in. Right here I feel like there could be some sort of line where the eye is. So I'm going to do that real quick. Add some more details. This can look a million different ways, guys. Trust me, there's so many different things we can do to make it look different. The next thing I'm gonna do is just paint some fire coming out of his mouth real quick. That is how you take a photo and turn it into a drawing using Procreate. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought about this exercise in the comment section below. Your feedback means everything to me. And that's how I know what video to make next. If it sucks, I won't make it. If you guys like it, I'll keep making videos like this, but I need to hear from you guys. So hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications. I make videos every single week. I do two to three videos a week. So you don't wanna miss that. But guys, thank you so much for joining my community and everything on this channel and supporting me. I love you guys. Keep creating, keep being awesome. Catch you in the next one. Peace.